Hello everyone, welcome to my attempt at the 100 baby challenge. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Nikki, how are you doing? Um, I'm really stressed and excited for this challenge. Uh, I recently had a poll on my Facebook page to see what kind of challenge that everyone wanted to see from me. Uh, if you're not following me on Facebook or you haven't liked my page, you should definitely get on that. But uh, everyone decided they wanted me to do the 100 baby challenge. Uh, I feel like it's almost as if everyone could sense my uh, fear towards this one, but I'm still excited regardless. <laughs> so let's just kind of hop right into it. If you don't know anything about the 100 baby challenge, I'll link um, in the description all the rules. But basically the goal is to have 100 babies all to different men uh, in The Sims. There's uh, quite a few different rules about aging Sims up, what you kind of can't do. Um, but that's the basis. That's, that's all you really need to know. So I've uh, made our matriarch. So she's going to be our uh, first baby mama. So her name is Ainsley. Uh, I think she's really pretty. I've um, basically given her lots of yellow kind of outfits. She's going to be very summery. I think she's adorable. Um, yeah. So I hope you like her as well. I am obsessed with this one outfit. It's, oh, I love it so much. Anyway, but basically she is a freelance botanist. So we're going to get her uh, into gardening and that's going to be how she makes most of her money to support all her little bubbas. Uh, I have given her romantic, uh, good and family oriented as her traits just to kind of help us along the way as well. So let's jump straight into it. We are actually starting uh, the challenge in Strangeville. I haven't played the Strangeville mystery in this save game. Um, I'm actually using Lil Simsy's save game for this challenge, um, just so we could have a few different uh, like families and Sims and also the really nice renovated pretty lots rather than just the EA ones. So we're starting her, yeah, in Strangeville. I've also made on my channel, um, a really nice kind of micro home. It was really pastel-y and originally I wanted to do something more modern. So I did go ahead uh, off camera and renovate my own lot and make it better. <laughs> uh, and I've given her, so this is a micro home as well, micro starter. I've given her a little tiny greenhouse here to get started as well. Uh, and we've also, if you didn't see in the pop-up before, we do have some cool lot traits with this one as well. I've deliberately given her the micro starter, so that way we do get, so we got the tiny home, micro home. So it does actually come with uh, all of these perks as well. So we're gonna be able to build relationships and skills and plants quicker and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's really gonna help us kind of start. So I'd like to kind of keep the micro or tiny home or even small home lots one of the three for as long as possible which is going to be fun because there is potential we could end up with uh, like seven toddlers or something insane at once so uh yeah probably isn't gonna last very long but let's let's give it a shot anyway um for the lot traits as well we've also got uh the uh on Lee line, Lay line, I don't, I don't even know. But basically, it she's more fertile, more likely to have twins. Uh, also, given it the child's play and good schools, so that way we can build up skills of our little kidlies uh, quicker and uh, get rid of them <laughs> out of the house, so we can keep going. So yeah, uh, that's all you need to know. It looks like we started the game uh, on Spooky Day uh, as well, but uh, I don't think we're going to do anything to celebrate that particular one because. It's kind of not on the agenda. Um, sorry, I'm like, I might just get rid of that straight up, and which means she's going to be sad. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry Halloween was terrible, but we, we kind of need to find some baby daddies. That's kind of the priority here. Uh, I'm tempted to wait for the welcome wagon to see if we've got any uh, donor material but I also don't think that we will I think that everyone's going to be walking around uh, like this because I haven't done the Strangeville mystery yet uh so we're just we're just going to pretend this isn't happening <laughs> we're just going to completely ignore that side of things and probably go somewhere else to find did she just cry in her bed over not celebrating Halloween are you serious girl oh my god this is this is 
this is going to be fun. Uh, anyway, we might go <laughs> to a community lot or somewhere. See if we can start meeting some men. So where should we go? Right. Everywhere in Stranger Hill is just going to have weird people walking around. So I feel like we should go somewhere else. Maybe San Machino? Maybe San Machino? And I think if we land at Planet Honey Pop, maybe there'll be a festival or something going on. Or we'll come over here if not. But you know what? In the words of the 1975, if you want to find love, then you know where the city is. <laughs> I mean, we're not looking for love. We're kind of looking for love. Well, who's the kind of love, right? Don't mind me. Just babbling on. All right. Who's this? Who are you? I don't even know how to say your name, but uh, we're going to come and friendly introduction. We're just pretty much going to introduce ourselves to like every man we see, I think. We have no time. Why are you sitting? That was the most depressing, well, like, hello ever. It was so, so. Oh, my God. I can't even. Really? Oh, my God. She's going to ask his advice because she's so sad. Here we go. She's happy again now. And he's just getting down to this half-naked uh, person on the karaoke. Oh, another person over here. What does the bartender look like? Oh, he's uh, got a nice uh, big jaw there. But he's, he's quite handsome. He's quite handsome. And he's coming to join us, so... Looks like he's a bit interested. At least he sounds a lot happier saying hello than we did. So, so. All right, let's boast about family, girl. You don't have any family. Let's just talk to all these guys, heartfelt compliment, and just bring, just try and be friends with them first before we try and hit them with anything romantic, I think. Tell a funny story. Basically, the more guys we meet and try and be friends with, we can set up for future baby daddies too. So that's that's what we want to do. That's what we want to be able to do. Why are you singing karaoke? I did not approve this. Who are you? Who are you? What is your name? Dane. Hello, Dane. We're going to respectful introduction you because I think that that actually works really well. Why do you have to sit down to meet people? I don't, I, I just, I don't get it. <laughs> so he's like bowing to us. Oh my. So we seem to be getting along with this guy pretty well. That's a good start. I'm terrified to find out if they well, he's gone. We're off to a good start. Who are you? Were you the person we were talking to before? I don't think we were. So friendly introduction. Dominic. Compliment. We'll just be nice to everyone. You imagine our first child having this chin and those ears and that forehead. Like he's very attractive from the front, but uh, I think that's going to be interesting with the wave genetics. But you know what? You know, we'll just see how we go. Can't afford to be picky. Each and every man is a possibility. Why does everyone just keep leaving us? You're getting the wrong idea. We, we just want to be friends, I swear. That's it. That's it. And we also need your seed. That's bad. <laughs> Who do we have walking past? Is there anyone interesting out here? Because the guys inside don't seem to be very uh, interested in us. Who are you? Bryce. Hello, Bryce. You are actually quite good looking. Like, those are some top tier genetics right there so I think let's actually come and try our luck with him quick before he leaves girl oh he's coming to us oh okay okay this is this is good this is good can we just leave this group chat I just want to talk just to him oh she's flirty now that she's met him okay Give relationship advice, you know. I hope he's not in a relationship, but, you know, it's flirty, so let's go with it. Get to know. Maybe we should cloud gaze. Because I know that you can build up relationships a lot quicker by doing that. Let's have a look. I 
Are they gonna go cloud gaze? Okay, cute. All right, they would actually make like a really cute couple though. What do you think? Like he's got some, I think she likes him and he's got some really nice jeans there. Like, I don't know. I think this could be our potential first baby daddy, you guys. Let's see how they go. There's also a couple more guys that have just uh, walked in. Akira, respectful. Oh, wait, hold on. Was there a flirty? Flirty introduction. Yes, please. I like the look of this Akira guy as well with his tattoos. He's quite, he's quite nice. We like a little man bun. Did he like it? Did he like the, oh, did he like the flirty introduction? He did. Okay. Okay. Is there a reason why everyone just wants to leave us as soon as we start talking to them? Come back, Akira and other dude. I think Akira just left. And I don't know what happened to our other boy either. I think he's gone. Oh, well, this is, like, we met lots of different people. Did we meet you? What's your name? Darren. Oh, we met you. Diego. I don't think we met you yet, did we? <gasps> Wait, he's over here. Are the guys over here? He's just getting a little snack. He's just getting a little snack. Well, you are the snack, so you don't need a snack. <laughs> okay, let, let's go talk to him. <laughs> we seem to be getting along really well with this guy. Yeah, ask about love life. So are you seeing anyone? Are we going to destroy a marriage by getting with you? Does the humor and hygiene social sound interesting to you? I hear the teas there are pretty crazy. Well, we're too busy talking to someone at the moment. Maybe next time. And this lovely lady is getting in the way of our, our flirting. Can you not join the conversation? I'm scared she's going to just join in. You're going to ruin the mood, lady. <gasps> Sexy pose. Yeah, give him drop. <gasps> no, do a little. Oh, my God. Yeah, tell a dirty joke. Why not? And then drop a little sexy pose. See see if he likes that. Does he like it? Does he like the sexy pose? He does. Okay. Kiss hands. Is it too soon? Is he gonna? Is he going to take the kiss hands? He took it. Okay. Oh, my God. He's doing it back. Oh, I think it might be too soon to embrace. Let's flirt. Oh, first kiss already. Oh, my God. These guys are just vibing. Yes. They're off to, they're off to such a good start, you guys. This is this is really good. Do we have anywhere here? Invite to stay the night, yeah. A sleepover sounds great. Okay. Good, 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 good. I don't think there's anywhere here that we can actually woohoo. Hmm. Well, that's a bit disappointing. We may have to go back to our place. Unless I can put down maybe I'll try and put down one of the little woohoo bushes so we can just Seal the deed now. Here we go. We'll just pop that bad boy down. And let's see. Let's see if we can seal this deal. <gasps> wow. Okay. Things have really escalated quickly here, you guys. I'm so happy, though. We need to get a move on. Leave them to do their thing. Is there anyone in this bar that we haven't actually met yet? You? No, we met you. Richard Ashley. So, like, Rick Astley? <laughs> we'll go on. We will come meet you in a minute. And we met you, didn't we? Akira? Yes. Okay, I think we met everyone. Who's this? Joel? Well, he's a celebrity, so I highly doubt he's going to let us talk to him. Are you guys done yet? Oh, my God. 
Okay, maybe we should quickly take a pregnancy test while we're here, just to confirm. And considering I've been neglect, yes, mm. beautiful. I can't believe how quick that was. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Um, can you stop doing karaoke, please? Because you're not very good. And we're just gonna have a. Let's just become friends with this other guy, this Akira. Let's become friends with him instead. Didn't you just go to the toilet to take your pregnancy test? Oh my God, and she's already showing. Wow. I think Akira left. I'm very sad, I liked him. I like his genetics. Who's this guy? Oh, this is the guy from Eco Lifestyle, isn't it? Forget your name. Nox, yes. Let's come in. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna come and wake you up, Nox. And we're gonna we're gonna come have a chat. Okay. Let's drop a floody introduction and see if he likes it. Oh, he liked it? Good, 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 good. Oh, who's this guy? Parker Shea. Uh, can we not? Okay, well, friendly introduction to you because you're quite good looking too. Look at all the boys that we're meeting. This is this is good. This is good. We're after. Okay, I know you're hungry, darling. I should probably get you some food. What have we got? Oh, somebody left out a burger. We have got $7 to our name, so I feel like that's probably a good idea to just eat someone's random burger. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Because now that we're uh, well on the way to babies, I feel like we should probably start looking at earning some money. <laughs> well, she's quite tired, so I might just make sure that we've met the two guys that were over here, and then we will head home. So hold on a second, who are you? Malachi McKnight, we haven't met you. And who are you? Marcus Brown. So friendly introduction, Marcus Brown, please. Oh, he's gonna come to us, even better. Okay, so we've met Marcus Brown now, beautiful. Come and meet Malachi over here. What does Malachi look like? Oi. Oh, he's pretty good looking. Oh, he's going to come to us too. We are very popular. The boys very much like Ainsley, I think. They're all just willingly coming over to be like, oh, who's the pretty girl? I think we've we've met enough guys for today. How many people did we meet? I mean, other than these random chicks, we met quite a few potential dads today. So we're off to a very good start, I think. So I think we better go home and get some sleep before my darling passes out in a minute. But I don't know. I think like we're off to a really good start, you guys. This is actually easier than I expected. <laughs> did he just rub garbage? Like, did he just like hug garbage? Did, oh my god. Okay, and you're gonna be the father of one of our kids. So that's actually terrifying. Okay, home we go. I think. Do we bring someone with us? Maybe this Malachi guy. We got along. I don't want to bring Knox now. He's kind of creeped me out. Dane, we seem to get along with really well. And this Parker Shea guy. Let's bring this Malachi guy though. I'm probably not much going to go straight to sleep, but you know, I figure. Can we kiss hands? <gasps> he took it. I was like, is it too soon for us to kiss hands? This is good. This is very good. Sexy pose. She's probably going to pass out soon, but it's fine. Give residence keys. Wow, it's a little bit soon for that, isn't it? Offer rose. Oh, he liked the rose. Asked to be boyfriend, really? We have first kiss, first kiss, first kiss. Come back, come back. Come back, we can do first kiss. Wow, we're doing so well, guys. 
We're actually doing so, so well. I'm really proud of us. I don't think with our $7 to our name, I really don't think we can afford a woohoo bush to seal the deal. <laughs> and I'm very upset because I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Can they use the shower? No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's try it again. Oh my God, here we go. <laughs> wow. Ainsley is amazing. This girl, I think I picked the right sim to do this challenge with. She's going to pass out like as soon as she gets out the shower though. But at least we got baby daddy number two all ready to go now as well. So... Can you go to sleep now, please? Thank you. All steamed up from spectacular shower woohoo. Okay. She's in a pretty good mood from uh, the events of the last 24 hours. <laughs> so now we're just going to have to wait for this bubba to be birthed. So maybe we should actually go out somewhere and see if we can get some plants. Like... We can't even afford to buy seed packets right now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're going to bring children into this. Oh, actually, don't clean that up. Don't clean it up. I want to get... No, you actually have to clean it up. I thought I got one of those bins where you can uh, put the dishes in to make money. But we're going to have to save up for that too. So, uh, yeah, this isn't, this isn't too great. <laughs> Let's go back for a little bit more sleep and then we'll have to go out foraging for some uh, plants. Bryce would like to come over. No, we're done with you now, Bryce. Don't you understand? Okay, darling. I really don't think you can afford anything. So you're just going to have to uh, have some quick meals for the moment. We really need to get you making some money. Poor Bean. She looks so tired and miserable. You were a lot happier a day ago when you weren't getting sad about missing Halloween, but it's fine. It's fine. Welcome to your life. It's only uh, going to get better from here. <laughs> Where can we go that's going to have plants? Maybe the park in Willow Creek? I think that has a few things in it. Do we invite someone to go with us? No. Oh, let's invite Knox. Yeah, because we seem to get along well with him. We'll just try and be friendly with him and stuff. And maybe there'll be some more guys that we can meet here too. Knox, I really like your outfit today. Where was the compliment outfit one? Oh, I want to compliment his outfit. Oh, there we go. Dude, you're looking so good today. I love your little shorts with the little drawstrings. Okay, and while they're talking it up, is there some stuff here that we can harvest? Oh, really? I don't think anything's ready yet. What's this? Snapdragons. Oh, man. Nothing is ready to be harvested. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, sorry. I think I forgot how pretty this park is because, like, and it's got the nice Aurora Borealis thing going on up there. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it looks so nice. Anyway. Oh, look, a collectible. Here you go. Come dig this up, please. Come on. One alabaster. Are they worth a lot of money? How much is that worth? $30. Uh, I guess it's a start. I guess with that, we'll be able to at least buy a seed packet. This is a wild lily flap. Okay, that's nice, but I don't, that's not helpful. I just, you need to be able to. There we go. Maybe we're going to get some frogs while we're here too. Heavy metal, robot salvage part, okay. And another leaf frog, okay. And how are you doing for food, darling? Is anyone, 
has anyone cooked any food for us that we can steal? Has anyone cooked anything? No? The one time Sims aren't constantly grilling is the one time we're hungry. Well, that's great. I think we might need to go home in a minute because nothing seems to be going on here. There's not even any Sims around because of the rain. So maybe let's try it. Oh, that Aurora Borealis looks kind of cool in the rain though, right? Anyway, let's maybe try Oasis Springs. I think one of the parks there has some good stuff. Okay, is there anything around here? No! Stop spending our money. I know you're hungry, but Jesus. And so you're just going to go sit in the pool and eat. Okay. Okay, you do you, queen. We're just going to see if we can find anything. Oh, dig that up, please. And please tell me we've got something to be harvested somewhere in this park. And of course, nothing around this area is ready to go either. I reckon it must be because it's summer, but just very frustrating because we're probably just going to have to buy the seed packet now. I thought we'd at least find some mushrooms or something. What have we got? $50. What's that? $30. And she's just going to lie down in the dirt. Okay, sis. Yeah, we're not, we're not having a fun time with this. So I think we better just head home. Okay, darling. Maybe you should have a quick shower. And then, what's that with breakfast? Fruit salad, yep. We've got $100 now, so at least it's better than the $7 or whatever it was that we started with. So let's make some fruit salad and that will feed us for a few days at least. And then we'll buy a seed packet as well. Let's go with flowers. I feel like I normally end up just doing vegetables all the time, so let's do something different this time. Really? Six things a holly, really? Let's try again. What do we get this time? Daisies and holly. Well, I don't mind the idea of a daisy, so let's... No, you don't do that. Let's do one of each, I guess. There we go. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we're off to a good little start. Also, can we just take a moment? How cute does she look in this little outfit? I know it's not the yellow theme that the rest of the outfits are, but I don't know, I really like that on her. Looks good. Anyway, okay, maybe we should also, because I was reading up, put that back in the fridge. Um, I was reading up on the rules and you can actually have a job. You just can't leave the lot. So I figure, like, I'd like to kind of challenge ourselves and not have a job, but... I feel like that's going to be particularly hard uh, right at the beginning here. So we might actually just register to be like a gardener or something freelance. Um, except it would be nice if I remembered how to do that. Okay. Conservationist. No. Let's go with gardener. And then we'll always do the work from home option. So <laughs> achieve level two of the gardening skill. Purchase garden seeds. Okay. Maybe let's get some herbs. What do we get? Parsley and basil. Look at our mini garden, you guys. Isn't it adorable? Let's water those. There you go. And you can go get another serving of that fruit salad, darling. 
I hope you like fruit salad because that's going to be all that you're going to be eating for a while. <laughs> and how are you going with your pregnancy, my darling? Second trimester. Okay, so you're not, you're cooking up nicely. Oh, I also, while I remember, bought some knitting stuff because I thought it would be really cute if we could get her to make some little baby onesies. Wouldn't that be adorable? I haven't really used much of the nifty knitting pack, but I like the idea of it. So let's, oh, that's cute. I like that one better. Let's make that one. We'll get her to build up some knitting. And then hopefully she'll be able to knit some onesies and then we can like pass them down from like baby to baby and like from matriarch to matriarch. And I just thought that would be really sweet. And look, isn't this wholesome? She's like knitting away with a little pregnant ba baby belly. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I just think that that's so cute. Knitting project complete. Ooh, ooh. Amazing. Let's make another one. Knit clothing. <gasps> we can make socks now? I wish I could see these better. Pastel striped crew socks. Let's make some of those. She's smashing this knitting. I really think these lot traits are helping. Because we've been knitting for one day and we're already level three. So I think that's pretty cool. Oh, beautiful. She's got little sockies. That's so cute. Um, do you want some more fruit salad, darling? <laughs> Third lot of the day, and then you can go. You can you can go to bed. Let's harvest best today. Oh yeah, I think I'll get rid of the gnomes. They're just annoying as hell. Is it too late for me to get rid of the gnomes? No. Okay. Oh, I got. Okay, so grand meal, thankful spirit, decorations. Okay, I don't think we can do decorations without that decorations thing, but um. We should be able to do the grand meal, even though we've got no money. So, uh, great time for us to be doing holidays in this game. Okay, you guys, giving birth in question mark, question mark, question mark. Ah, oh, it's going to happen soon. I thought I said no to holiday gnomes. Oh, my God. I don't really want to sell him because he's worth a lot of money. I feel like that's cheating, but you know what? Oh, there's another one here. Can you go? Oh, my God. There's three of them. Can you just go away, please? Bye. We might be able to afford one of those bins now. Maybe. How much are they? I think they could actually be a little bit more than I thought. Hold on. Oh, my God. Really? $1,200? Mm, okay. Okay. Well, that's the goal. We want to get one of those. Oh, good. Our garden is doing good. We can actually harvest some stuff. Good, good, good. We're off to a very good start. Bryce will like to come over and hang out. You know, we're about to give birth to your child or children, so why not? That was really quick, Bryce. That was creepy quick. Were you just, like, waiting for us to say yes? Oh, that's so cute. This is about as involved as a father can get in this challenge. So that's adorable. I think he's really into her though. So this is the one part of this challenge I really don't like is the potential uh, <laughs> hurting the baby daddies because they get attached. I don't like that. Boys and their feelings are important, you guys. I don't like it, even if it's just a sim. I don't know. I just, yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Also, I'd like to know what the uh, neighbourhood action plan is because I'm, I figure Foodies Unite, you know what I'd really like to get in there is free love. I'd really like to get free love in there. So next time it's voting is open, which is when? Friday. So tomorrow. I think we should try and vote that in because that will be really helpful so that way um, nobody gets angry at us when we inevitably have to cheat on them. <laughs> I kind of want to cook a grand meal just so she doesn't get upset. But uh, how much is this going to cost us? $60? Mm. <laughs> I'm so stingy. Oh, man. We should have we kept our herbs, really? 
Damn it. Well, you know what? I feel like let's do the grand breakfast. Why not? It's 7.30 at night, but let's just do it anyway. Oh my god, she's gone into labor while cooking her grand meal. And she's just chilling. She's just she's just having a good time. He was stressed a second ago, but now they're just like, everything's fine. We'll just make our food and then we'll wander off to the hospital in a minute. It's fine. Um, let's have baby at hospital, please. And because he's here, we'll bring Bryce with us. Can you, can you just go to the hospital, please? Thank you. I hope she didn't leave that stove on while she went to the hospital. Oh, no. I don't know if we have a smoke alarm either. Well, he looks very angry. What's your name? Derek DeSnoot. Can we, can we say hi to you? Because you're going to be our doctor and you look very upset, so... I don't know if he's stressed about the weather or if he's stressed about giving birth. Did Bryce just leave us here? Well, tried to be nice, but, you know, whatever. Uh, check in, please. Oh, my God. What is our doctor doing? You're meant to be giving birth to the baby, not f bloody rubbing our belly. What the heck? In the rain, too. Oh, my God. Come on. Let's go have this bubba. Oh my god. Oh my god, she just got struck by light. We just got in just in time. Oh my god, that could have been us. I don't know if you can get struck by lightning when you're pregnant, but that was a bit too close to comfort there. I didn't like that. All right, you guys. Is this going to be one? Is it going to be two? Is it going to be three babies? I'm really worried. A baby boy. Okay, first Bubba and it's a baby boy. Okay, I was thinking in the way of like names, I'd really like to do like a naming theme for each like matriarch. So I figured because Ainsley's into like gardening and stuff, maybe we should do like kind of like nature-based names. So I was thinking like herbs and uh, types of trees and flowers, like things like that. So I think let's call our first little baby Dill. I really like that name. Oh, no, it's twin boys. Okay, hold on. I have a list somewhere. What about Basil? Dill and Basil. Oh, my God, we got baby boys. I did not expect twin boys. I don't know why. I just had this feeling there was going to be a girl. Oh, my God, that's so wholesome. Welcome to the family, our first two babies of the challenge. Wow. Oh, oh my God, you guys. Okay, why did this little bubba just change hue when she picked him up and then he's... What? What? Uh, okay. How come every time she picks them up, they're changing color? What? Anyway, um, this is going to be fun and interesting. I don't even think she can get to the second baby, can she? Nope. Hold on a second. Uh, we'll just put that in our inventory for now. There you go. Can we get to this baby now? Yes. Okay. Can you feed this baby, please? See, this one isn't changing colour when I'm really confused. Anyway, I think we're going to leave this part here. Um, I'm really feeling overwhelmed that we've got two tiny babies screaming uh, in such a confined space. So that's going to be fun for us to deal with next time. Uh, but yeah, next time, lots more babies, uh, lots more baby daddies. Hopefully we're going to earn a little bit more money so we can... Uh, not be completely like poor the entire time and it looks like poor little Ainsley could be getting sick so that's great see what is it with this baby I just I don't know at least they stopped crying for the minute 
But anyway, you guys, if you've got any ideas for baby names uh, along the same kind of like theme I was going for, like that nature theme, please let me know uh, and like leave some comment suggestions. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a little thumbs up or, or leave me a comment. It would uh, mean the world. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy this and uh, much more to come. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. So thank you so, so, so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next part, which hopefully won't be uh, too far away. I'll talk to you then. Bye.